Welcome everyone. Welcome to Science Unfiltered. And today we'll be drawing the structure of SiCl4, which is known as silicon tetrachloride. Now the electronic configuration of silicon in ground state is the inert configuration of neon and then 3s2, 3p2. The orbital diagram is this. 3s2 has two electrons and 3p uh, subshell has three orbitals. One, two, three, three orbitals having two electrons as shown here. Okay. Now silicon is making four bonds with chlorine because it is written SiCl4. So how will it make? Because in this case, it is going to make just two bonds because there are only two unpaired electrons. Okay, just two unpaired electrons first and the second just two unpaired electrons. Hence four, bond, four bonds are not possible. So silicon will attain an excited state, excited state ES. Now what happens is that shifting or jumping of electron takes place okay this electron will jump from the 3s subshell and sits on one of the orbitals of 3p subshell hence its diagram orbital diagram uh, goes something like this okay now see notice every electron right now is unpaired okay so right now in excited state we have got four unpaired electrons which means that now silicon can make four bonds okay here is a vacant space left here is also a vacant space left similarly here and here also so silicon can now make four bonds okay now let's talk about the electronic configuration of chlorine chlorine has also got the inert configuration of neon 3s2 but not 3p2 3p5 okay so and the orbital diagram of chlorine is 3s has two electrons and 3p subshell has three orbitals the first orbital, second orbital, and the third orbital having five electrons. So I filled five electrons. Now it has got a, just a single unpaired electron, which means that it will make a single bond. Okay, just to, I've written one UE, one unpaired electron, which means it will make one bond, just a single bond. Okay, now let's dive into the structural part of the silicon tetrachloride. Okay. As I said, silicon is going to make four bonds, right? And silicon here is our central atom because it is lesser in number. We have just got a single silicon in SiCl4 and we have got four atoms of chlorine. Okay. Now, silicon had four valence electrons or four unpaired electrons. Let's say, let's say that. Okay. One, two, three, four. And chlorine has seven valence electrons one two three four five six seven similarly a chlorine here one two three four five six seven similarly one two three four five six seven and the last one one two three four five six seven now chlorine uh, will make a single bond with silicon so single bonds Here we go, single bonds. Now let's count if they have actually uh, completed their octet or gained stability by completing their octet, respective octets, okay? So let's count the number of valence electrons for chlorine after bond formation because we have, bo we have bonded all of the atoms present in this molecule. Now let's count the number of valence electrons and check whether they have gained this stability, whether, whether they have completed their octet. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So chlorine has completed its octet. Similarly, these three chlorines have also completed their octet just like this one. Now let's check for the silicon. So silicon has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So silicon has also completed its octet, which means now after bond formation, after the SiCl4 has been drawn, has been formed, it has, got, it has gained stability and we have drawn the correct structure of this particular molecule. So this is all about the Lewis dot structure of SiCl4. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.